Hi, welcome again to Finding the Missing Angle. This is uh, part three if you're watching at home. And keep in mind always that you can pause at any time, rewind, watch it again, go back and look at an earlier video, especially if there's a vocabulary term that you're unfamiliar with that uh, has been used by me and you don't know what that means, or you could even pause and just look it up on the internet wherever you look. Um, and if you have questions, again, you can email me through Jupiter. Uh, I only have one real quick vocabulary term I want to use here, and it is the word adjacent. And, and really, whether it's angles or just the word itself, adjacent means next to. So if we're talking about adjacent angles, we're talking about two angles that are right next to each other that are on either side of what we call a transversal, if you remember that from an earlier description, an earlier lesson. Um, so if we were to take a line such as this, and again, cut it with a transversal, we would create two angles. This angle right here, which we'll call angle A, and this angle right here, which we'll call angle B. Now angle A and B are, by definition, adjacent. They are right next to each other. And the reason we bring this up is because adjacent angles tend to have something, in com have something to do with each other. It's not just proximity and, hey, look, there's another one right next to it. It's, hey, that angle actually has something to do with the other angle. And in this case, those two angles are supplementary, meaning they add up to 180 degrees. So angle A plus angle B is 180 degrees because they are a, a straight angle that has been that is cut into two angles and therefore they are supplementary. So that's why we want to know that term. We want to know it when it comes up and you'll see it again in higher levels of math when you get into trigonometry. Weirdly, adjacent becomes kind of an important word, uh, especially for angles. So I just thought I'd throw it at you, let you see that vocabulary here. Now I'm going to solve one really kind of complicated problem and that's what I want you to feel like you can do when you're done watching this lesson because there are lots of problems where you have to use one thing to find another thing to find a third thing and that's what we're going to look at here and that is a big triangle that's going to be cut in we're going to obviously triangle has three angles so we're going to look at finding all of them so we're going to find all the angles now First, I'm going to give you some. In, I'm going to give us a little bit of a help here. I'm going to give us those little marks, and we got to talk about what those little marks mean first of all. Those two little marks that I just made on those things mean that they are equal. Okay, they are the same length. And the interesting thing about that is when they have the same length, the angles that are across from them, meaning this angle here and this angle here, have to be equal. So if the sides are equal then their angles opposite are equal. So let's write that down. So first the marks are, they mean they're, it means they're equal. And if sides of a triangle are equal, then their angles are also equal. And so now that we have that established, we're going to get a little bit more information here. And that is that this met the angle of this is 8x plus 5. Well, that's certainly not a very helpful number. And the one across from it is 10x minus 1. So now we have two angles. We know something about them that we can now find. And once we can find that, we can find everything. And that's the, that's the amazing part of this is we can use one piece of information that helps us find another, which helps us find another. Well, as I just stated that these two angles that are opposite these two equal sides have to themselves be equal. So what's, when two things are equal, all you have to do is put an equal sign between them. And now you're in a position to find what x is. Now, x is not our angle. x is the number that's going to let us find our angle. Okay, so let's do that. So we're going to solve this equation. We're going to subtract the 8x from both sides. We get 5 equaling 2x minus 1. We're going to add the 1 to both sides. We're going to divide both sides by 2, and x is going to equal 
three. And again, three is not our angle. Three is the number that's going to let us find our angle. Now we're going to be able. Now we can put it into either of the two values because they're supposed to be equal. In fact, if we really wanted to be sure, we could put it into both. And when we do that, we can see that they are equal. We can say eight times three plus five. 8 times 3 being 24, 24 plus 5 is 29. We can put it into this one. 10 times 3 minus 1 is 30. 30 minus 1, hey, they were both 29 degree angles. So we do know that it worked, that x is the right value. We can check our own answer. We didn't need to ask anybody if we did it right. We know it because it worked. Now we have two angles. We now know this is a 29 degree angle, and that's a 29 degree angle. So we can find this last angle at the top because a 29 degree angle plus another 29 degree angle plus an unknown angle has to equal 180 degrees because it's a triangle and all triangles have to be 180 degrees. So we're going to plug that all together. We get 58 plus our question mark is 180 and I know it's kind of going at a slant there but that's just the way it is because I'm tall and this is short. So we subtract that 58 and our, our unknown angle would be 122. Now it may not have looked like it because I can't draw very well as you might guess. I don't have a lot of artistic talent here. My talents lie other, way, other places. So here we go. So that means that if I were to draw this triangle maybe a little bit better, it would be 29 degrees here, 29 degrees here, and 122 degrees there. And that would be our final triangle. And we have now found all of the missing angles without actually being given any of them. We were given that two of them were the same and something about how they were the same. Okay, that's what you're gonna be looking for when you're doing your uh, assignments. And if you have more questions, feel free to email me.